What the SAGE process does for us is firstly bring a national focus to some of that work. Secondly, it provides a sort of brand and umbrella under which that work can sit. And thirdly, and most importantly, brings sustainability and duration to the work. The SAGE process is ongoing. That's what a famous one does really well. It asks us to be really honest and transparent and committed to sustainable change, not just one-off individualised solutions, sustainable cultural change. So I think it's a great program and I'm really happy to be involved. For DST, it's a chance for us to have a look at ourselves, where are we at and what do we need to do. The process itself is not just a tick box exercise, it's comprehensive um, and I think what's really pleasing to see is that as well, following on from the bronze, there's then a silver award and a gold award. So it's great to think that we're actually on a journey. We've started this and we've got a bit of a way to go to maintain and continue that improvement in terms of gender equality here at ECU. And we're very excited about that. There's a lot of misconception that it's, that it's irrelevant, that it hasn't been, it's already been achieved. Women are equal, women can do whatever they want now. Um, but research shows that that's just not true. There's still a lot of casual sexism, there's still a lot of um, masculine culture, there's still caring responsibilities still heavily fall on women. Just shining a light on this process is important in terms of how we empower the students um, as, as staff members in terms of the way we're educating them and in providing role models, particularly to the female students. The Athena Swan Bronze Award is important because it marks an important step in QUT's journey. Women are underrepresented in science, technology, engineering, maths and medicine. And we need to address that so that everybody has equal opportunities to achieve and to achieve their goals and to do the right things for this country. I think the SAGE Athena Swan Bronze Award is important because it addresses gender equity. It doesn't just address male or female, it actually looks at equality from all possible angles and gives everybody a framework to aim for. This gives a structure to all of the goals and intentions that everybody wants to come up with. Um, it's really a line in the sand moment for us. We've, we've talked the talk, um, we've written the policies and procedures, but this initiative and, and the application for Bronze uh, Award gives us the opportunity to do a, a systematic audit of where we're sitting in terms of our data analysis, our engagement across the university, and really identifying the opportunities to enable our women in the STEM disciplines. It's enabled us to collect and analyse data in ways that we've never done before. And from consultation and, consul and conversations we've had with staff, we've been able to really shine a light on gender equality at ECU and find out just where does ECU sit in terms of being a gender inclusive higher education institution. But I think the great thing about the Thinga Swan and the SAGE process is because it's so um, focused on data and analysis, it really makes you dig deep and really look at the structural and systematic um, issues, which I think is really important because on the face of it, um, it's not just a numbers game, it's not just about how many women are here or how many women are there, it's about the structural, structural issues that prevent women and men from forming um, their best. We feel it's really important to identify the meaningful data that will enable your organisation to um, reach forward now and into the future and strive to meet your goals in a way that is both sustainable and measurable. The School of Earth, Environmental and Biological Sciences has about 75% men and 25% women. And what that says to me is that we don't value everybody equally and we don't treat everybody equally as they come through the pipeline to be recruited. All of these people have got a contribution to make and right now I think we're missing out on 50% of the intellectual capital that exists within our nation. Some of the broad themes were confirmed for us, underrepresentation, career breaks and so on. There was no news there. But what's interesting is the modifying effect of good management on the impact of some of those issues. And I think that brings hope to the process because what it appears to show is it's how you manage it that makes the difference. Most importantly for me, why it's important to us here is it's really got us thinking about change. Now that we've collected and analysed some of the data, we've consulted with staff, we've heard some of those views, we're starting to really see where we can make a difference. We wanted to capture the views of our genders within our university on what they think of 
workplace flexibility, for example. Um, if, it, if it's offered, will, are they willing to take it? Are they aware of it? And if they are not taking it, why not? The data we hope will provide us with insights on how we can encourage everyone, men, women, and those who don't fall into the binary um, gender conceptualization opportunities for them to take it. For the organisation, it means that we'll have a better talent pool, we'll have more diversity in our people, and therefore more diversity, better talent, means better outcomes for science and technology in DSC and Australia. But when we move into the academic staff, women are underrepresented. There are clearly barriers and inequities that need to be addressed, and I want to be part of that solution. It's been a great opportunity for knowledge exchange, knowledge share, sharing of ideas, um, brainstorming, and um, just getting together um, in a, a shared purpose, um, working towards achieving bronze, um, you know, uh, for Athena Swan. So why is the Sage Bronze Award important to me? Well, I hope that by asking the right questions through the SAGE program and putting better policies into place now, the uni will be a better place into the future for Beatrix's generation. And I hope that she'll be able to focus on learning whatever she's passionate about and have lots of senior female role models and not have to worry about glass ceilings and scissor effects. I'm just excited about um, what future opportunities this program might allow for um, academics.